Hey friends, it's Josh here back with another quick Divi tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to keep the Divi slider text static so that it stays put and fixed over all of the rotating slider images behind it. Now, normally with Divi, the slider is going to look something like this to where the slider text and the call to action will reappear on top of every slider. Now, this is fine when you have a slider that needs a different title and has different call to actions for each one. But in a lot of cases, it's really handy to just have one slider, let me refresh here, uh, one slider text, one call to action over the repeating images. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do in this tutorial. Now, I am gonna walk you through all the elements of this and show you how to recreate this so you have a really good full understanding. For those of you who just want a quick grab and go and you wanna know the right code to use to make this happen, let me give you the short answer now. And then for those of you who wanna see every aspect of this, that's what we'll dive into next. So the short answer on how to make your Divi slider text static over the slider is to put this CSS in your custom CSS area or your child theme style sheet. What this is saying essentially is that the description, which is all this content that is in an active slide it has no animation. So that's exactly what this code says right here. So you can just copy and paste this code. I've got this available for you at the post for this tutorial. So just go down below in the description for this video and you can copy and paste this into again, your style sheet or your custom CSS area to make all your sliders have this effect. I will show you next how to apply this to only one slider on a page, but that's exactly what you'll do. For those of you who do want the short answer, there you go. I would say if you are one of those who you're busy working on a project right now, now, you're just grabbing this code and going, please consider subscribing because there's a lot more where this came from. All right. So for those of you who want to know a little more in depth, what's going on here, let's have some fun. We're actually going to recreate this step by step. So I'm going to start a new page. Let's use the Divi builder. We're going to go on the front end so we can visualize this. Um, heads up though, just remember a lot of times, particularly with the slider module, when you're looking at things on the outside, it can often look really nice and clear and clean. Sometimes when you're in the builder, stuff can look a little jumbled. So you might see that and I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I mean here. So first off, let's add the slider module, which in Divi is found under the full width section. So you, there are different slider modules, but in this case, we're going to go to the full width uh, section and then we're going to add the full width slider. And by default, it's going to add two sliders right there for us. So let's get rid of this first section. And Instead of styling the text and everything uh, at first, I want to show you the functionality and then we'll go through styling some of the stuff here. So uh, first off, let's add a couple background images just so we can tell which slider is which, shall we? So I'm going to go into, I went into the slide, uh, not, the, not the entire section, but the actual slider module, which is right here. And we're going to go into each slide here. So let's go and add a background image. We got background color, we can do a gradient, uh, but we're actually gonna add a background image into both of these. So here's number one, looking good. And let's go back out and put a new image and slider number two, just so we can tell them apart. And let's do a, quite a, a different image so we can really tell them apart. There we go. So now we see basically exactly what we saw here different sliders with the uh, the text and the call to action reappearing on each one, which again is fine if you have different sliders, but I love being able to have this option because it's really handy for all sorts of reasons. So what we want to do first off is I do want to show you, I'm sure you're curious, how do I get rid of these arrows and buttons? Because if you are going to do this type of look, it's rare that you're going to want to have different um, options for rotating and they're likely just going to, you know, that you want the images rotating behind it. So how to do that with your Divi slider module is you're going to go into not the slider, um, not the actual individual slider details, but the all the slider details. And this is a big difference. I want you to hear me on this. This is really important because you can adjust your design settings like the text, the button, and all that stuff per slider. But if you want this look, all of the slider content as far as the heading and stuff need to be the same. So you actually want to do all of your adjustments here in the full width slider settings in design. This is where we can control the look of all the sliders to make sure we have this same look on, on every one. Because what you're seeing here is technically three duplicated sliders. It's just the text isn't changing. So the way you do that, 
let's get rid of these buttons in these arrows first is you're going to go to the full width slider settings to design and now down to actually sorry uh, those are going to be under content and under elements this is where the arrows and the controls are so if i disable arrows and controls watch this when i click this you'll see these buttons disappear peace and then over here these will make the arrows disappear Hasta la vista. There we go. They're gone. And in the design section, this is where you can actually control the animation of the slides and coincidentally, the text and the information here. So what I am going to do is I'm going to turn on automatic animation. This will mean that the, the sliders are going to rotate automatically. And I do want the slides to continue to rotate even on hover because by default, if you are hovering over a slide on Divi, it will stop the animation. But in order to adjust that, oops, let me go to the right page here. You're just going to go to design and animation, and you can adjust your animation styles here. Now, this is at 7,000 speed. Uh, we want to bump this up. It's normally kind of slow. Like watch this. If I do uh, 1,000, watch how fast this will go. Just adjusting the speed will make those sliders go way quicker. So let's find a happy medium between that, shall we? Let's do like... 3,500. That looks good. And there we go. That's kind of the first step of all this. So let's save this and let's take a break and look at where we're at right now. And then all we have to do is add this code to make this look a little better. So let's get out of here before I make you too dizzy. <laughs> it was going wild, wasn't it? So here we go. The arrows are gone. The buttons are gone and we're close. The, the slides look right barring any styling we're going to do. But again, we want to insert this code to make sure it stays static. Now, where do you put this code? Well, there's a variety of places you can put CSS and Divi. I do have a tutorial on that, by the way. I'll put that below for your reference. Uh, you can add this to your custom CSS area in your website. You can also add this to your child theme. However, that will affect every slider on your site. So what we're going to actually do is just put it on this page in this slider. And there's a variety of ways you could do this, but I'm going to go to the settings in Divi for this page, which is right here, and check this out. If I go to advanced, there's a custom CSS tab. Any CSS in this window will only affect this page. So I've got this copied, my CSS, and I will show you how I pinpointed this here. And that's it. Now with that in there, this is saying the description in an active slide has no animation. Let's save that. Let's go ahead and go back out just to see what this looks like here. And we'll be good to go. So now you should see the slides go. And we should see the text stay there. There we go. We just achieved it. There we go, my friends. It's that easy. Now, uh, you're probably wondering, okay, how did you know how to do that? Well, first of all, there's a lot of great tutorials that have already covered this. So hats off to everyone who has already posted this answer. I just wanted to do my own version of this tutorial to walk you through all these details. I will link to some good ones uh, as referenced below. But if I do right-click, inspect element, and take a look at this code, you'll notice that each slider, you can pinpoint that there is a slide description. And uh, the sliders are, are moving around, so it's kind of, you'll see this jump around. But if I'm in the description, look at this right there. You'll see normally there's an animation name of fade bottom. Let's wait till the next one goes around. We'll see that again. So watch this. Fade bottom. That is canceled out because I just added this text over that that says instead of animation name fade bottom, animation name none. And there we go. And you are good to go, my friends. That is it. Now, I will say again, when you style your title and details and button to look something like this. Ideally, you would do that first before you replicate the sliders because the problem with, with putting the functionality in place first is now I'm gonna need to go in and adjust every title and content, et cetera. But what I would do in your case is do one slider, get your title, get your button, get your content all correct. And then here is the biggie. You wanna make sure that when you do your slider styling, you do it for all the sliders, not just individual sliders. So what I mean by that is I could go in here under the design settings and I can adjust the title size and the title font weight, et cetera. I could go into the button and I could give this some custom styles, give it some coloring. And there we go. Now that just affected every title in every slider. You can go into individual sliders and give them different styling, but if we want to achieve this look, all of the content in every slider needs to be the same. Because watch this. Otherwise, if I say this is the second slider, and if I were to go into, I don't know, design, and let's change that to like black, 
or actually, yeah, let's, let's do black and maybe a uh, purple background. This is going to look beautiful. If I do that, watch what happens. Let's save this. And I'm just showing you what not to do here in case this ever gets confusing for those of you who have lasted this long. Now the first one looks good, but watch this. Whoa, the second slider has different coloring and has a different title. That is why it's so important that if you want to have this look, every slider has the exact same details. Generally, the only thing you're going to switch out are the, um, the background images. So in this case, I'm just going to get rid of this. And now all I need to do is we've got it all set. We just need to go in and put in new background images. So in this case, let's give this one, and we're about to wrap up here, guys. Let's give this one a background image of uh, the beach. Yep, looks good. That one looks good. And let's go into the third slider and give this the background image of, let's do a city so they all look different. And that is it, guys. And just remember, really, really important, in order to take those buttons and things off and adjust the slider animation, you want to go into the actual slider module, go into elements to remove those arrows and controls, this is just kind of a, a wrap up and a recap. Go into design to change the animation for every slide. Otherwise you can change the animation for individual ones. I do recommend having automatic anim animation, changing the speed if you want, and making sure that all the slides do continue to rotate even when you're hovering over it like this. And now my friends, you have just created one awesome slick effect in Divi. That's really easy. You just put your slides together, drop your code in here, in your custom CSS section, or like I showed you here, down in the CSS for just this page, and you are good to go. Now, for those of you who are interested in Divi and you have not yet purchased it, if you're gonna purchase Divi, make sure to use my link at joshhall.co slash Divi. I have a special deal with them for you to get a big discount off of Divi if you have yet to purchase it. And for those of you who are inspired by this and you're pumped up and you wanna learn Divi more and you would like me to teach you the ins and outs of Divi so you can build awesome Divi WordPress websites fast, I do have my Divi WordPress beginners course. That is open and available for you right now if you're ready to go to the next level with Divi. But for right now, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This was a quick answer and then a more in-depth answer to how to keep your Divi slider text static and fixed over the slider so you can create this type of look. And it's fun, it's awesome. It's really nice to be able to, to create this look for a variety of sections in your website. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Subscribe below. Again, check out the resources I have for you in the description and to grab this code, just go to the post and I'll see you on the next tutorial.